to a new naming system in the, in the Pioneer brand. Uh, previously, we used to use the 45, so 4 being the Pioneer number for canola, 5 being our maturity number, and then H was hybrid, or we had CS for club root sclero. So we're moving to a new naming system, and what's going to start out with P being for Pioneer. The second digit will be your maturity, so this one, 501, is a 5 mid-maturing product. You know, if we had something earlier, it could be a 4, or if it's something later, it could be a 6, but so that's going to be our maturity number. And then the second digits are, ra are sequential numbers as we're introducing hybrids. We go this is the first one with the new naming system, so 01. This, the next letter L is for Liberty. So a Liberty hybrid will have L, a Clearfield hybrid will have CL, and a Optimal Gly hybrid, when we launch Optimal Gly, will have a G. If it has a Harvest Max Liberty, it would say ML. If it was a Scleral Liberty, it would say SL. So you're not going to see club root or C for club root. So if you see C in the naming, it's Clearfield. We will not have C for club root in any naming system or any structure like that at all. So because every hybrid that comes out of our breeding program from now on will have club root in it, as Kim talked about. CR1, what we're hoping to do in long term in our catalog is to differentiate it with CR1, CR2 with the note on the bottom saying what that is. So it'll allow you to rotate your resistances of your club root packages to be better stewards to the trait long term. So that's kind of what we're heading down with the new naming system. If you have any questions, I'll be around for the rest of the day.